You know, young rich niggas. You know, so we ain't really never had no old money. We got a whole lot of new money though. <laughs> hey, raindrop, drop, drop top, drop top, smoking, no cooking, the hot box, cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, 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 cooking up dope in the crock pot, pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody, grit the trigger, nobody. Call up the gang and come and get gang. Grab me your river, give you a tissue. It's bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I told you guys that I would come back to you after I get from the movies and I was going to do this very, very small haul on Charlotte Rue. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, it is pretty late. We ended up going to a 745 movie and the movie was longer than what I expected. We got out of there like um, after 10 and we went to get something to eat from Chili's, which I haven't ate there in forever, and I see why I haven't. But, uh, <laughs> you guys want to eat some Chili's, and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right up into this video, okay? Okay, before I start with Charlotte Rue, I'm going to go ahead and do this polish because I showed you guys my nails earlier, and I plan on inserting a picture of my nails, and my feet look just like it, except, um, right beside my pinky, you know, that toe is painted this color but it looks just like I think I did a wonderful job um <laughs> but this is the fingernail polish and it's called spark I don't know if you guys look at my description box like I said um it's in the description box of my last video before this one of what I'm wearing um I got this from Walmart and it applies pretty good um I end up painting that nail gray Painted both of those nails gray. That way, um, this one I did like a little messy. But anyway, I painted the nail gray first. Uh, Rock My World by Essence. I painted that gray and then I went back over it like a couple of times with this. Um, uh, if I did it one time, it would still like show, but I just did it another time because I kind of wanted it to like pop. I didn't want it to be just like you really even see the gray, and as you see, you really don't. So they worked out fine. Like I said, this went well. You know, it's like 97 cents at Walmart. So go copy one. Go copy one. For those shenanigans, I'm going to start with my little short um, Charlotte Rue thingy. Little bitty haul. Um, it's four items. And it came in the other day. But, you know, I had already did one. So I'm going to give y'all this one. These shoes were here for $17.99. And I think they were on sale. I really don't even think I spent $17.99. Actually, I had spent only $10.07 on them. A regular price was $17.99. Um, they had like a little sale on their shoes. I think it was like so much off. I can't really remember. But yeah. This is how it looks. It has like this little gold, metalish looking thingy. And it's like a fuchsia, like a hot pink. I really like these shoes. I think they are so adorable. And I got these in a size 7 because I think they didn't have any half sizes. This why. Um, The next pair of shoes that I got were these. Show you one of them. And I want to say regular price for these were $19.99. So it would have been $20. But I only spent $11.19 on them. And how it goes on is, you know, you put your feet in there. And it's going to go like strap around. And then it ties at the ankle. And this is a size 7 also. I think they're real cute, especially for the summertime. And they look very beachy. And that's really why I like them. I mean, you can't beat that. And as you can see, it's like a blue and a white. So I don't know how this is going to do with staying clean or these. Because it's like basically a rope material. I don't really know how it's going to do with being clean. But we're going to see. We're going to see. And I got this romper here. And I think it is so cute. It's made basically about like this shirt. I like stuff like this. Like the little chunk of detail. As you can see. Uh, regular price for this was $31.99 and I only 
$17.92. And it's like, kind of like a, what do you call those shorts? I can't think of the name of it, but it has like that little flare look to it. I really like it. And at the back, as you can see, it zips. It has a zipper. Yep, this the romper. And I got me another fingernail polish, you guys. It's small. And I actually paid um, $360 for these. And you know, I probably did that so I can re reach shipping and handling. But the regular price for this was $450. And this is it. supposed to be gel. I don't know because, you know, I haven't tried it. But, yeah, that's it on this haul, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that haul because that's all that I have. Oh, yeah, you guys, I forgot to tell you that romper was a one X. And it's stretchy. And I'm just going to give my little review about the movie. I'm not going to tell you guys about the movie because I don't want to spoil it for people who may have not seen it. But I think... That it was a good movie. I think the guy that played Tupac, I think he did a wonderful job. And if you guys don't know who Tupac is, which I hope you know, he's a rapper from way back when, like the 90s, and he's dead now, whatever. And the name of the movie is All Eyes on Me. Uh, like I said, I think the guy did really, really great. Like a lot of people, um, I seen a lot of reviews saying pretty much, even from celebrities saying that it was not good. And even people was talking about the guy saying that um, the guy was bigger than Tupac and all that. I mean, come on now. You're not going to find somebody who looks exactly like him and going to be the same size as him. But the guy pretty much from Tupac's personality to his looks like, the guy looks so much like him. And I think he did a wonderful job. And he even kind of talked like Tupac. Like, I think he did a wonderful job. Whoever he is, congratulations. He did a wonderful job. And I don't care what nobody got to say. I feel like they're hating. Because when it's all said and done, I mean, can you play the part better? Would you have done better? Like, that would get to me. So, I think he did a good job. Kudos to him. And the movie, I was kind of getting a little mad at some scenes in there because... It's really like some touchy things in the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was kind of getting a little offended and mad. And, you know, I had to recoup and regroup and get myself together. But, um, I mean, I don't know, really understand. I guess why I'm so mad, I was getting so mad about stuff about the movie, too, is because some of the stuff going on in the movie is still stuff that's going on to this day. And it's really just sad because it's the exact same thing going on. It's like... History is repeating itself, and I know it's some good people and some bad people. Both colors, I mean, it didn't even really discriminate on me. I mean, people just, it's same stuff going on, you know what I'm saying? It's just the same exact thing going on with race against race, white against black. It's just a lot of stuff going on, and the world really do need to get it together. Like, the color of your skin does not define who you are. But some people don't seem to, you know, just realize it. So, you know, it is what it is. But I do suggest that everybody go see it. Like, I'm a big Tupac fan, so I had to go see it. Like, it wasn't no doubt about it. I was going to go see the movie. I wanted to go see it the first week, but I already know how I go. Like, the first week of a movie, everybody and their mom going to be up in there. And people going to be loud. And we actually did have some people that came, blah, that came in, like, they might was going to be a little loud. Like three girls. And they simmered down. I'm glad because I was not going to be listening to them. Now, I was going to tell them, can you please shut up? Not be quiet, but shut up. <laughs> so, any one that many of us in the movies tonight, it's probably like maybe 13 to 15 people. So, it was cool. But you guys, if you don't mind, I ain't trying to beg. But uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I've been getting a few little dislikes on certain videos. Like on, I guess like on some of my hauls. I don't know somebody not liking it or whatever. And I don't care about you really disliking it. You know what I'm saying? But I think some of y'all just be being petty. Because if I don't like a video, I just exit out. What I'm going to press the thumb down for. But anyway.
thank you guys who have subscribed and thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you later and i plan on going ahead and doing something different next video because i've been on a lot of hauls so um i bought some stuff tonight to get prepared so you guys get prepared and you just stay tuned so you have a wonderful night Mwah.